Welcome back everyone. So today I have another review on another downloadable product and I'm quite excited for this because I've been playing around with it and I've had quite some fun uh, performing it. And that is Perfect Sense by Skymember Presents and it's part of the Vault by Bro Gilbert series and it costs 10, uh, $9.95 to be precise, not 10 9.95 US dollars and it's available as a download at almost any magic shop that offers downloads. So what essentially is the routine if you don't know? So the routine is basically kind of a, a divination type routine. So essentially uh, uh, the spectator, you give the deck a small shuffle, the spectator cuts, uh, you then tell them to that you're gonna deal the cards into two piles, not all the deck, just a few cards, maybe 10 to 20 cards. You start dealing and they could switch piles at any time. So, for example, if you start from left to right, you're going left, right, left, right. They could say switch, so you go right, left, right, left, and they can switch whenever they want. When you're done, you turn around, you tell them, take one pile, go uh, behind your back or under the table, or they could even leave it on the table. And to keep the cards hidden from you, you come back, you take the pile that it didn't take, place it on the deck, spread the deck and then you're able to divine every single card in their in their hand. So not only can you divine the color, you could divine the suit, you could divine the number and you can divine all three combined. So the full picture of the cards, you could divine everything. So essentially that's the trick and it's it's really neat. I really like the trick and so what do you get? You get a roughly 30 minute download and with the instructions. So in the instructions, you get the routine itself. You get a blindfold variation. You get some tips and tricks on how to make sure it doesn't mess up. And you get three false shuffles. So you get one kind of pack, uh, you get two packet cuts. And he also teaches you the truffle shuffle by Carl Hein. Um, I don't, he doesn't go in depth because he does tell you to go learn it somewhere else, but it is kind of included. And I was surprised when uh, he included that and yeah. So essentially, uh, I don't think he mentioned this in the actual, uh, downloadable, but he does in the trailer, which is kind of weird. He says that this routine is from Aussie wins repertoire, which is a book I own. So I immediately, when I saw the trailer, went to the book and saw the routine. But what fooled me is that in Aussie's uh, presentation, you can only guess the color. So you can guess nothing else. So you can only know if it's red or black. And it kind of fooled me that he could guess the whole card and do it by by portions, which was quite interesting. So that's the reason that I, that I bought it and I'm quite satisfied. So I'll go through it quickly because there's not much to say about this. So it says that there's no memorization, which is kind of true. The, if you've been in magic for at least one year, you probably already know uh, when he's going to tell you what it is. You're probably already going to know uh, the thing that you have to know. So there's technically no memorization. Um, and that's, that's it with kind of difficulty. Like if you're able to know what you're supposed to know, you could do this trick without, without any problem. So it's that easy. So... As long as you're able to remember two two things, you're good to go. Uh, so that's as far as skill wise, because even the false shuffle he, tells you, uh, he teaches you, except the truffle shuffle are quite simple. So you're not gonna have any problems regarding that. So another thing that uh, it's important to note is you could do this in two circumstances. So you can either do this as an opener with your deck of cards. So you do it as an opener and then you move into any other routine you want. So you can go into any other trick. Or if you want to do this as a standalone or as a closer, you will have to bring out the deck when you want to perform. So essentially, if you don't want to do if you don't want to do this as an opener and you want to do it as a standalone effect, you're always going to need to carry an extra deck ready to go. So it does require a deck of cards that's specially specially prepared might i say for the trick so you can't go for example someone gives you a deck and you go into the routine or you have a shuffle deck and you go into the routine you can't do that 
So it has to be it has to be prepared before time, and this is not something you can prepare on the fly. So it's gonna have to be prepared before you present. So that's something you have to take in mind. But essentially, I think this is the perfect opener for someone because it's not really a magic, not really mentalism. It's kind of the border between the two. So it's quite interesting to, you know, you could start with this. It's simple and it could get people's attention and then you can continue. Then you can shuffle the deck and move into something else. You could do a bitch's card. You can do anything you want. So, or for example, if you start with something with a coin or something like optics to get your spectator's attention, then you could take out your deck and you're like, look, now we'll go into a card trick. And you do this as your opener, your closer, depending if how many tricks you want to do the people. So yeah, that's probably, I think for some will be the only drawback is that, you know, some people, they don't like to carry around a lot of deck of cards. And if they want to perform this, they're going to be obliged to be the opener. Because if they don't open with it and they don't have any other deck of cards, they're stuck. So they have nothing else to perform. So you can't perform this after an ambitious card or anything else. That's something to take in mind. So apart from that, I kind of covered everything there is because there's not much to cover, you know. I told you that it's very easy. I told you what the trick is, the price, where to get it, about the instructions, which are really good. So that's pretty much it for this review. Um, if this is, if it doesn't bother bother you to do this as an opener or just carry around an extra deck of cards to do this routine when the opportunity arises, then I, I think honestly that you should definitely buy this. This is actually a really, really, really good downloadable. I'm, I really, really like it. And it's something that fits my style and I'm definitely gonna perform, which is, which I was, you know, quite surprised because I don't usually perform this type of, you know, kind of, long routine so this is quite something that i that i like so for me this is gonna be a 9.5 on 10 it's cheap it's an amazing trick you know this could easily easily be sold for 20 25 bucks and they could probably like in the market right now include you a deck of cards that's prepared for the trick and be like look we gave you the deck so with the instruction 25 bucks so you know this is relatively cheap for what it is it's quite good and i don't think you're gonna be you're gonna be disappointed when you see how it works and how easy it is and the impact it has on people which is quite good because i've tried it out and on my trusty companions and they were quite surprised uh, by the trick you know normally they're so used to me knowing they're so used to me doing some tricks so they already know what's going on but with this they were quite surprised so yeah that's it for me it's this is a 9.5 on 10. I really enjoyed it. And the last comment I'm going to say is, you know, in the routine, he goes really fast on on the way he presents. So he goes color, suit, value, and then he guesses the full card. That's good. But I think that you guys should go slower. So I don't think you should go that quick because the I think it loses its impact. So the way I'd go is I'll do one while well, I'll do like two or three about the color then i'll be like okay once i get two or three about the color i'll start to move in the suit i'll do two or three of the suit then i'll do two or three of the numbers and then i'll put everything together so that's kind of how i'll work because i feel doing one 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 and then ten in a row where you guess the card kind of loses its impact like this you're kind of building tension towards the end climax where you're able to guess the cards and i feel if you build that tension throughout the routine and you only guess four cards, the full identity, I feel it's more powerful than guessing 10 full identity and four just the simple things. So I think that's something you could look at because for me, I honestly perform gradually building up because, you know, you're kind of building up the fact that you're able to guess more and more of the, of the information of the cards to finally be able through all that hassle to get to the end product. So that's just my my two cents on the presentation. So thank you for watching, like and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed. So I really recommend this effect. See you guys in the next video. I look forward to giving you another review next week. So thank you guys and see you later. Bye bye.